Hey, 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 how is it going again, Guardians? LV Native here with another Destiny video for you. In today's video, we're going to continue the series of our playthrough with all the missions with The Dark Within. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and take a quick look at The Feature Comment of the Day. And today's feature comment comes to us from Amir the Boss Gaming, and he says, This should be Feature Comment of the Day because I enjoyed your restoration video and I would like more. Well, wish granted, man, and we're doing one again today. And remember, guys, if you would like to be the next feature comment of the day, all you gotta do, smack that like button, drop a comment in the section below, and I just might pick yours to be the next feature comment of the day. All right, guys, so let's just go ahead and launch down into this. Um, the Dark Within, it's obviously one of the earlier missions, but it is a very, very short and honestly a very easy mission but it's got a really nice cinematic at the end of it which i think you guys will all like there are reports that the fallen back at the cosmodrome are keeping a pretty tight guard on the old skywatch it could be one of their leaders or it could be something valuable the speaker's asking guardians to look into it <laughs> all right so basically what you're saying is you have no idea what it is all right let's all go check it out together shall we Okay, the Skywatch is just on the other side of the steps. All right and here. So if you're friends. not sure where to go on a mission, you your are. radar will tell you where your next objective is. So you see that little white uh, arrow? Anytime you're moving towards that, you are moving towards whatever your next active objective or the next step in your objective is. So these guys here, I'm going to just kind of get warmed up a little bit. Um... You don't have to kill them. Oh, you can just keep running towards your uh, checkpoint and just completely ignore those guys. I just wanted to shoot a few of them. Every now and then, you know, you get that feeling you just want to this shoot a guy in the face. must have been amazing before the collapse. Thousands of humans boarding the colony ships. Off to build cities. I can fly! Alright. Yeah, the Warlock jump is nice, Up but if you're not used to it, because it's a little different than, especially if you're brand new to Destiny, it feels a lot different than other jumps. So, yeah, we're heading toward that giant uh, satellite building there up in front of us. It's where they're picking up the signal from. So I just want to take this time because it's just a, a long run here, but to thank you guys so much, the support you guys have been giving me, not only for this channel, but for this series in general, I really, really appreciate it. We're getting very close now. We're about 200, I think, uh, subs away or real close to that from hitting our 10,000 subscriber mark. Um, I and, and this is less than a year. This is only about 10 months worth. I never thought that we would get anywhere close to this, so uh, take a grenade. There it goes. Um, I, I just, I don't even know what to say. I want to thank you guys so much. You guys obviously are enjoying the content. Um, loving all the positivity I get in the comments. I love reading everything you guys send. And uh, I'm going to be keep doing a whole lot more of this in the future. So I'm not going anywhere. In fact, I'm doing nothing but getting pumped up for Destiny 2. Um, I'm guessing September, October time frame. We, we don't know. We all kind of have confirmation it's going to be by the end of this year. But just based on other releases that they've done in the past, this yes, was one of put my money on September, stations. October right in that time frame. We'll see how close that is. So you're just going to run through here. Um, and we are going to dead run into Fallen a dead end speed. there. Don't um, I can get it open. Don't worry, I'm looking around just to make sure there's no enemies, but your ghost will activate it. Just go up there, hold down the button, and he'll open up the door for you. Do a little dance. Like I said, this is honestly one of the easiest Fallen missions really in the game. It's in. very laid back. Probably won't get killed as long as you're just not trying to rush right into the everyone's faces. Even then, you still probably could survive. It's not that difficult oh yeah this part here it's gonna be nice and dark so just kind of be careful you know pick your way through uh just slowly and shoot them as they come out and you'll make your way through them very very quickly. the hive the hive that's right this is the first time that you get introduced to the hive um just another group of enemies out there that you fight against 
and um, yeah, they can be kind of troublesome, especially if they catch you off guard, like all those thrall. Hey, level four, let's go. Um, now I'm level four, now I can start getting bounties and start really uh, working on leveling my character up. So, uh, but yeah, those thrall, if they catch you in a big group, um, it doesn't take them long to uh, kill you. So definitely want to take them out quickly and not let them get too close and melee you there. So here, you just want to kind of stay back, use this uh, top of the stairs, this cover, and just start picking these guys off. Um, there's not like a big boss on this. There's, I think it's a wizard. I think that spawns at the end that you have to kill. And once you kill him, uh, that's the end of the mission. So, I said, just be careful. Pick your way through these guys. They're not going to put up much There's of a, a fight. Wizard here. You have to kill it. Okay. Yep. The wizard is here. We got to kill it. So, I'm going to get my shotgun, and when I see an opportunity to kill, I'm just going to move in close and uh, take him out real quickly. Because I'm pretty sure once you kill the wizard, it's just going to end the round, end the mission. So, there he is. Yep, I'm going in. Ah, oh, YOLO! Take that! And, come on. There you go. Two shotgun shots. Much quicker than if I was just uh, trying to peg him from a distance. I haven't been on Earth in centuries. The darkness could be a lot closer than we think. So, we should probably get moving. Yeah, so it's just a really easy laid-back mission, guys. Um, it's not going to give you much of a challenge at all. But like I said, it does have a really cool cinematic here uh, at the end. So let's go ahead and see what our rewards are, see if we've picked up anything decent, and then we'll go into that cinematic. Let's see here. Ooh, two items. Let's see here. Got a fusion rifle with 22 and a pair of gauntlets. All right, we'll take it. So yeah, once you go back into orbit, it's um, it's not going to actually do anything um, as far as launching it. You have to go back to the tower, and anytime you're completing steps, it's a good idea to take yourself back to the tower. So we're just going to go through here. Yeah, it says, there it is, talk to Ikora and the Hall of Guardians and speak to Ikora, right? Yeah, we, we have people that, in order to continue... Uh, our path, we have to go and actually talk to them. So make sure you're keeping track of that because you can do a lot of time, you know, running around doing patrols or whatever and not advancing in your missions when all you gotta do is go back to the tower for a minute, you know, speak to the people and advance in that. I see a lot of people make that mistake, especially people early on. Um, how do I know? I was one of those people. So don't, uh, don't do like I did. Learn from my mistakes. So, all right, we got couple little improvements um really excited that we hit level four now because like i said then we can start doing some bounties and get this guy leveled up it's just gonna make these missions that much easier yeah anytime uh if this is your you know first time running through it, you want to keep track of your inventory and if you have an outdated piece of equipment that you know you're not going to be you know using again you just want to go ahead and dismantle it and break them down for the uh for the equipment you know for the materials so, oh, you gotta be level 20 to be able to equip the shader. Okay. Alright, so yeah, we're just gonna go and uh, launch down in here. I think we have to launch down into the tower. Technically, it's not part of the mission, but I'm including it. Alright, so once you click on the tower, it's at, yeah, it says the speaker instead of the tower as your destination. So, Launch into it, and I will be quiet so you guys can hear uh, what the speaker has to say to us. There was a time when we were much more powerful. But that was long ago. Until it wakes and finds its voice. 
I am the one who speaks for the traveler. You must have no end of questions, Guardian. In its dying breath, the traveler created the ghosts to seek out those who can wield its light as a weapon. Guardians to protect us and do what the traveler itself no longer can. What happened to it? I could tell you of the great battle centuries ago. How the traveler was crippled. I could tell you of the power of the darkness, its ancient enemy. There are many tales told throughout the city to frighten children. Lately, those tales have stopped. Now, the children are frightened anyway. The darkness is coming back. We will not survive it this time. Its armies surround us. The Fallen are just the beginning. What can I do? You must push back the darkness. Guardians are fighting on Earth and beyond. Join them. Your ghost will guide you. I only hope he chose wisely. I did. I'm sure of it. We're in this together now. Alright guys, well that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, do me a favor, smack that like button. It really helps this channel out. And as always, Guardians, this is LV Native. You guys are awesome, and I will see you in the next one.